Hello everyone, welcome to Dr. Tidy's channel. I am Dr. Malika Subramaniam back with content related to work from home, workplace and office ergonomics. Two lines about myself. I am a graduate in physiotherapy and a certified practitioner of dry needling, kinesio taping, myofascial therapy and Mulligan's concept. I am currently working as an ergonomist and consultant physiotherapist in a renowned IT company in Bangalore and I am also a consultant ergonomist with an occupational well-being agency. In my today's video, I am going to talk about one of the most concerning factors of our work life, neck pain. And when I say neck pain, it might be because of various reasons and factors occurring all together. We are not going to discuss all of those. My focus in this video is going to be on a specific form of neck pain, trapezitis. Now, before you learn about trapezitis, I will give you an outline of what might be the reasons behind neck pain and what is an overview and background. So, as I said, neck pain might be because of many factors and reasons, but if you have to categorize it uh, broadly, you can say non-specific neck pain and mechanical neck pain. And non-specific neck pain, as the name suggests, uh, it occurs uh, because of many factors or reasons that are not known either or there might be many reasons which are contributing and mechanical neck pain is particularly due to mechanical overloading or uh, micro trauma in your anatomical structures might be your bones joints ligaments muscles or all of them now one such form of annoying mechanical neck pains is trapezitis which is very commonly seen in office job workers or a desk job workers it is also prevalent in students teachers uh, in employees that are into occupations where they have to hold their neck and shoulder positions for prolonged hours, uh, employees who uh, manage weights in their day-to-day -day jobs like where warehouse workers. It is common in almost all categories where you have to hold your neck and shoulder positions in the same uh, pattern for longer durations. Now before you learn about what is exactly trapezitis, you have to learn about the muscle trapezius. Trapezius is a large muscle uh, that maintains the posture of your head and neck uh, that extends from the base of your neck till your shoulder region to the tip of it and then extends till your upper back. So it is a large postural muscle that covers almost uh, all the region behind your upper back that is between your shoulder blades and it extends from this point till this point. Now it has two parts, left one and right one. Both the muscles together form a shape of trapezium, hence the name trapezitis. Now, what happens when your trapezius muscle is being overloaded because of poor postures? Once the muscle is being overloaded, it starts getting tired and fatigued. And the fatigue increases over time and it worsens and intensifies with everyday loading. And once the, after a certain point of time, the muscle starts being tired and it starts uh, going into sw swelling and inflammatory changes. And this causes micro trauma to the uh, anatomical structures or the micro anatomy in that muscle. And this causes uh, mechanical changes, some pathological uh, changes inside the muscle and that, uh, this ultimately leads to swelling in, within the muscle and outside the muscle as well. And all of this together will give rise to painful symptoms. So, in short, swollen, spasmodic, inflamed trapezius gives rise to this condition, trapezitis. What happens in trapezitis is, once your muscle is very tired and being overloaded on a repetitive basis, it starts giving up and you will start experiencing pain and stiffness around your neck and shoulders, particularly in movements that involve either your uh, shoulder range of motion or involves your neck range of motion. And you will have difficulty in movements uh, which you used to do with so much ease before. And along with stiffness and difficulty in movements, obviously pain would be there. And the pain is very specific, which I'm going to talk about in the coming few minutes. And apart from ne uh, neck and the you know base of your shoulder region, the pain might also extend to your upper back. So talking about shoulder pains, uh, it, you will have specific pains while you are trying to hold your shoulder position above your head like this or like this. If you are someone who is involving in a job where you have to hold your shoulder above your head, for example, you are an electrician who have to reach out to objects above your height for longer durations like this or if you are a painter or an artist who holds this position of your shoulder for longer durations. All of these activities become difficult for you because your trapezius is very much tired to hold that position. 
and as i said trapezius is very very important in holding your neck and shoulder positions for longer durations it is a very strong muscle of your uh, shoulder and upper back and it is more more important uh, importantly affected in terms of office of workers where they have to you know hold this position in front of their laptops for uh, almost all the day you are typing in faulty postures you are using a uh, wrong ergonomic principles where you are not uh, you know uh, being in an ergonomically safe or appropriate environment around your laptop or your workstation your trapezius is always tired and it gives rise to swelling and inflammation within the muscle and uh, there is one more problem with trapezius is that since this muscle is very large and bulky and huge after a point of time it starts uh, forming a trigger points or knots within itself so what are trigger points i'll explain you imagine a thread which is very smooth and which is very uh, you know very straight and without any glitch in the in its course and there forms a tangle or a small knot in the center of that fiber and when you do this there is a obstruction in the middle this is what our muscles are made of small very narrow micro fibers which are like smooth and narrow threads trigger points are like those tangles or knots that forms in the center or in the middle of these threads which uh, obstruct the smoothness and these trigger points are also called as taut bands and they are found majorly in your trapezius muscles so when your muscle is very tired it is being overloaded over a period of time it forms small small knots within itself this we call as trigger points exactly so problem with trigger points is that they are the sources of pain in many many cases and they give rise to particular pain patterns which we call as referred pains referred pains are basically where you experience pain at a region uh, which is different uh, from the problem source so the actual problem is at one place and the pain is being experienced at a different region so in this case the problem is in your trapezius muscle which is your neck and shoulder muscle but you might experience referred pain patterns uh, into your arms into your uh, fingers maybe your hand or wrist or sometimes you even your neck your head and face and sometimes even your upper back and mid back so referred pains are very uh, very terrible painful conditions where you have lot of weakness uh, in in those regions where exactly you are feeling pain and you will constantly feel uh, discomfort in that region no matter what you are doing there is no relaxing position in that case so trapezius trigger points are a very big source of referred pain patterns and this is what happens uh, as an overview in case of trapeziitis but don't get confused or alarmed i will help you with how you can identify if you are going uh, uh, going into this condition uh, without you know without any confusion there are few checklist points which you need to keep in mind in case you are experiencing symptoms similar to this first the pain of trapezius trapeziitis occurs as a on and off or episodic pain it is never constant it does not start at the uh, beginning of the day and it does not end in the night it usually follows a pattern that means it usually occurs after a strenuous or a tiring activity for example as i said you are holding your uh, hand above your uh, head for longer durations you are typing in front of your laptop on longer times you are a student and you are writing continuously throughout the day you are doing some activity which is tiring the muscle and that's where the pain starts and the pain is uh, usually spot uh, region or it is very specific to that area particularly the slope of your neck so hence this is your uh, this is your neck region this is your shoulder region this is a junction where the trapezius muscle is uh, overloaded the most so in this biomechanical junction the pain is usually located and the pain is usually in the spot region there are few spots where exactly uh, the pain is very intense and in the remaining muscle the pain is mostly like a fatigue pain and these spots might also be the indicative of the locations of trigger points beware and trapezius pain is uh, usually occurring in specific motions for example you are having difficulty in holding your hand like this you are having difficulty in looking upwards for longer durations if you are asked to hold this position or this position or this position for longer durations you might uh, feel that tiresomeness in your muscle and too soon it 
turns into pain. These are only few checklists, but if you are experiencing anything similar to this, what to do? I recommend immediately consult your orthopedician or your physiotherapist for a detailed and definitive diagnosis. You can talk to us, reach out to us, we'll help you understand whether it is because of trapezius muscle or whether there is something else that, that is causing this pain. And what you can do on your part? First, always be ergonomically safe and appropriate while you are at work and your, even in your day-to-day -day activities. You are lifting weights, you are cooking, you are uh, doing some household course, you are in front of your laptop working, you are a student, you are studying for some exams, you are a teacher, you are uh, doing the routine uh, daily activities of your work where you are teaching uh, kids or you are helping them study. Whatever you are doing, be ergonomically safe and appropriate. Be well understood of what are the right postures to use and what are the wrong postures and what are the postures that you have to avoid or completely prevent. And stretching or regular stretching exercises of your trapezius muscle are very, very important. Stretching helps the muscle to relax. It lets the uh, water metabolic waste of your muscle which are accumulated due to the repetitive muscle contraction it uh, stretching helps to drive those metabolic waste out of that muscle our muscles are made to be contract and relax there have to be both the activities they cannot be completely relaxed they cannot be completely in contracted position so after every certain particular amount of muscle contraction there has to be some phase for relaxation where the uh, blood out of that muscle is flowing out and new blood is coming in. So to ensure this process happens smooth, you have to regularly stretch your trapezius muscle. And you have to always uh, st strengthen your other regions of your neck and shoulders. You have your muscles in other areas have to be strong enough to share the load with the trapezius muscle. Because if your uh, one region is weak, it definitely starts overloading the other region to compensate. For example, in this case, if the deeper muscles of your neck are weak, there are small deeper muscles in your neck between your neck joints, which might be weakened because of lack of proper exercising. So if the deeper muscles of your neck are weak, or if the upper back or shoulder muscles are weak, your trapezius takes up the additional load to compensate to this. This is the case where the trapezius gets tired because of the uh, load uh, bearing so to avoid that your muscles need to be really strong enough to share the load and you might uh, always take help of some uh, hot packs you might do some uh, gentle massage over that region to uh, give the give the muscle a small brief period of relaxation but this is only for temporary relief this will not solve the problem what to do to solve the problem from core one point I have already told you, be ergonomically safe and always follow right postures when you are working. Second part is, try to consult a physiotherapist if nothing above is working for you. Go to the expert, get their expert advice and your physiotherapist will help you in releasing the knots or tightness in your muscle if there are any. They will do some manual techniques with which they will release the trigger points. They relax the muscle from all directions. They do some uh, relaxation or strengthening or stretching exercises for your muscle passively and help you uh, undo the process of that overloading and fatigue and swelling. But this is only the brief and overview of it. If you want to know in detail about uh, what else is there to know about trapezius, please reach out to us. Write to us in our mail IDs, follow us on YouTube, like, subscribe and share uh, this video to all your friends whom you think will uh, get benefited from this video. And please follow our channel for more such amazing content on your overall health and physical well-being.